Welcome back, awesome Atchery fans and subscribers. More Acid Rain World. This is the War Correspondence set. It's two figures and some accessories, which are quite difficult to see. On the back, they better contrast on that. Or oh, my eyes need better contrast. Uh, nice artwork on the front. I think it comes with a film camera and a normal camera. Looks pretty cool. Let's open this up and have a look. And it's really nice to get some non-military figures, you know, get some uh, civilians in 118 scale. And also, I guess it adds some realism to the actual storyline. You've got, like, these news reporters. However, why has this guy got shorts on if it's going to be acid rain? I don't know. Thick-skinned? Who knows? Okay, this side wants to come, and this side wants to come. Oh, okay, there we go. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have two stories of plastic. Guy number one looks a bit like Uncle Kino to a degree. Kino or Kuino? I forget his name, but I'll stick in his sister videos. He's a great acid rain figure. With Laurel. Looks pretty cool. Guy number two, not wearing a gas mask, he is taking his life in his hands and wearing shorts too. He is a brave boy. Okay, let's open these up and take a look. Uh, this one has tape, they both have tape. So he comes with here, it is definitely a film camera, which is great accessory to get. And he comes with his baseball cap, which says press. Film camera has a strap. It has a movable viewfinder. Handle is fixed. Microphone is fixed. Any hidden details? Not that I can see at the moment. But that does look good. And the strap, I'm assuming, attaches to that part here. That's what I would assume. See if I can fix that on. In fact, maybe look at the box and see if it tells me or shows me. Oh, there is a picture, but it's so dark. So yeah, it is on that part there. I think one would be quite easy. I think the second one's be really tough to attach. However, that does give an advantage of being tight when it is on. I want to get something to help me. Okay, one is on. Fortunately, I didn't cut my fingernails. So I could manage to squeeze this one on. And number two. I really want like a mini screwdriver to help with this. I could use my knife, but I don't want to, you know, risk cutting the plastic or my... Uh, or the camera. That is so close, just go on, damn it. Now, if you were a female acid rainbow collector and you've got smaller fingers than me and fingernails, that'd be a lot easier. Okay, that's done. Okay, let's get out this guy first. I'm not sure if he has a name. Let's put this over here. Looks really cool. Oh, he's got a shaven hair and a little tuft, on, almost like a Mohican. Um, on the top, he's got a little knife. Is the knife... Yeah knife comes out nice little feature was not expecting that very very nice looking and press written on there looks really cool okay, 
his feet to stand up. Okay, and he has a little cap which goes on. God, not the best of fits, but he can wear it. Okay, let's just put this over his shoulder for the time being. In fact, let's have him hold it. his hands aren't in the best position for bending to hold something. Okay, I'll put it put him there. You guys can have a look at that while I get this guy out. He looks pretty cool, but the shorts, not so sure about those. And he's got more accessories here than uh, the other guy. You will not defeat me, seller tape. I hope. Okay. So he has got here a armored cap. This is sort of one we saw with the um, the Argarts. So, He's got a microphone, he's got a press vest, gas mask head, again like the Soul Commander. He's got a strap for his camera. Uh, if you're into like your 118 scale accessories like this, uh, Epoch Capsule Toys do a range of cameras. I've got a few reviewed, including sort of camcorder stuff. I'll stick them in just the videos. You can check that out if you if you want, if you've got time. Let me just quickly put the straps around on his camera or try and quickly do this. There is one much easier on this than the uh, video camera because there's more space. And here is number almost number two. And that's got a nice movement to it. All right, let's have a look at him. Okay, so he's got a press vest, and this one is a. I'm not sure why he's got this one. I guess this is a bulletproof or a flak vest, and then this one here, oops, is different. Not sure why he's got that one, but it's nice to have another vest, and it says press a gun on the back. Um, can he wear the helmet with what he's got here? So let's see this way around. No, he can, surprisingly. Because these helmets normally fell up. These helmets normally are made for the gas mask heads. So they fit on the gas mask gas mask heads better than the uh, naked heads. For want of a better word, he doesn't want to, want to stand up for me. Okay, that's better. So that's better now. He doesn't want to do it again. Get a look there. Okay, so while you're looking at this, that guy, uh, this guy here, different head sculpt, obviously, different type of gas mask, which is nice. The hat's pretty cool. Different body, legs, I think we've seen. Shoes. Looks like he's got... Uh, shoes are all right, color. Trainers. Uh, belt appears to be new. Um, how can he hold this camera? So he's got a... Uh, Handle here on the side, which does move, which is nice, and they make it easier for some of the uh, poses. And I guess that's going to go on his shoulder.
that the camera's trying to rest on his vest, not his shoulder. Filming the action, pretty cool. This guy with his camera, uh, it does have very good camera shape, looks very cool. So I reckon you're, ooh, yeah, how's he gonna hold this easily? I'm not sure how easy the camera's gonna be to hold if I'm, if I'm honest, but the hands are rubbery, but there's nothing real good for gripping on the camera, it's too wide, I think. And again, this strap is too rubbery, it needs to be softer, so it hangs at a better angle. Um, you can make him hold that, I'm not going to do it now, but it's just not going to be that easy. Uh, the microphone will be a piece of P to hold, because it's just a straight bar. Fantastic. And then let's have a quick look at him with the head swap, with the uh, gas mask. That is not a nice fit. That is really quite tight. Too tight almost. Urgh. Give me the sound. Ar Argot's vibe there. Okay, articulation. Let's have a look. They should be the same because they're pretty much identical, apart from these shorts. Um, so left, right on the head, up, down, side to side, pretty good. Shoulders, I'm not a fan of this new shoulder system I've said before with the uh, TA. Till you get to a certain point and pop, out it comes. Uh, my favorite shoulder system would be on like on, what's it called? What's it called now? Uh, War of Order, Devil Toys, and also on, is it Micro Man? Uh, I'll put one or two of those into the videos for you. So he gets flatter on his right than his left. This guy should get, should get pretty much even or dissimilar again. He's very similar again. Uh, what's going to be really good on these, however, is the bicep bend because they've really done a fantastic job on these. Look at this. That is tighter. You do not want to stand up, do you? That is tighter than I can get my arms. Yeah. And be the same on him, same system. Really, really tight. However, this guy is not quite as tight. Hmm, bigger biceps. Okay, they have trunk. So dip fours backwards, small side to side, they can turn. Waist turns too. Hips, really quite far. Forwards, uh, okay. Backwards, yeah, look at that, full splits. Pretty cool. There is a thigh turn, double kneecap, and you, look at that. I can't do that. Really, really tight on a double knee joint there. Um, really good on the tippy toes. Boop, 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 boop. The dorsal flexation. Pretty good as well. And his feet swivel. Hands, he has wave articulation on his left, sorry, and gun articulation on his right. And um, this guy, head is the same. Uh, his vest is going to make his trunk almost impossible to do. Maybe you want to change the this vest to get more trunk articulation. Hips. He can go slightly wider than the other guy because he hasn't got as much bulk in his uh, belt stuff. Forwards is good. Backwards, not as good as the other guy. Thigh twist, double kneecap. 
and he gets really tight again. And again, he gets, uh, it's the same shoes, different color. Look very similar, they're the same. Good tippy toe. Fantastic Michael Jackson dorsal flexation. <laughs> and he can turn, and both of them have twist on the feet like this as well, swivel on the feet. Very, very cool figures. It's adding another element to your 118 scenes and battle recreations because now you can have your film crew filming. Um, I like this set. It is pretty cool, and it's, as I said, it's nice to have something different in your 118 scale, not just your bang, 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 gun, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, I love that stuff. You know, it's nice to have something else to add extra dimensions to your play or to your dioramas. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to more awesome action toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and check out the other content on the channel because there's loads of stuff for you guys to see, okay? Bye-bye.